Hello, and welcome to another episode of Design and Style. We are a podcast for designers, by designers. I am one of your co-hosts, Dixie, with Dixie Willard Design. And with me, as always, is the ever-effervescent... Effervescent Rachel Moriarty with Rachel Moriarty Interiors. Right. (laughs) And we are... Well, I'm, I'm a little stuffy today. We just yeah. got back from market yesterday. We were at High Point Market, and we had the best time. It was so much fun. We got oh to see gosh. so many wonderful vendors and products and people. So oh many of our people, so many of our tribe, and we grew our tribe as well. I know. So it's exciting for, I, I just, it's, it's so, we keep talking about it like to each other, that it's so cool to see times. the people in person that you've met online. Yeah. My husband actually, my husband got recognized. Did he? At market. He did. Somebody walked up to him and said, you look really familiar. How do I know you? And he said, well, I'm Dixie's husband. And she said, oh my gosh, yes, you're Tony. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious! So my husband's famous in the industry now too. Now he, is, he now he pretty probably is. <laughs> he probably is. He's pretty easy to recognize. Yeah, so. he's he's hard not to spot. So, um, yeah. So we definitely got our online visibility uh, happening in High Point. That was really fun. Offline we did, visibility. We did as much as we could. Oh you yeah, know, we, we packed in. Pushed, we pushed ourselves beyond our own limits. That's probably why we're not feeling a hundred percent today. <laughs> I think it might be. But it's worth it, you know. I'm. We were talking about. You invest the time. You invest the actual time. You invest mm-hmm. um, money. Mm-hmm. Take time away from your business. You know, for me, I had to set up childcare. There's like right. all kinds of things that go into going into. Uh, to one of these events and um it there is there's a lot of fun i mean don't get me wrong it's really fun there's a lot of energy um but really now that we're back it's back to business as usual mm-hmm. of course we're having fun we're talking about it but what do we do with all that we've learned and all of the stuff that is on right. our camera roll right oh my gosh and i i don't know about any of the other designers at market But I know you and I were talking that we have a billion pictures that we haven't even begun to post because we didn't have time. It was just catch that picture, catch that picture. Okay, I'll deal with it later. Oh my gosh. Plus we did a, so we were, we were hired, hired, contracted, whatever to do a social media takeover for my Doma studio. So we were making sure that, you know, we were doing all the things necessary on their platform and we were sharing it to ours. Which by the way. We had a blast doing that. Oh my God, that was so much fun. So much fun. I want to do that again. Yeah. Any vendors out there that want us to do something <laughs> take over, that was fun. Um, yeah, that, that was really fun. So we, um, so we have a lot on our camera roll. Mm-hmm. And we were just saying, how do we leverage that stuff right. now that we're back home, now that we have a camera roll full of stuff, what, what, what can we create? How can we up our visibility with that? So let's just go through some of the stuff that we talked about. Mm-hmm. Um, the first thing is we think you should drip it out. You oh, know, yes. starting to see a lot of designers like post, you know, six things of this event and six of that and six of that and it's filling up my feed so like they're getting rid of like 60 photos off their camera roll by doing Mm -hmm. these but it's post after post after post and post and I looked at like one or two but you know after lost in the noise it's lost in the noise and I'm not looking at it anymore so um I think that uh Dixie and I think that it's best if at you take it from here and you get really kind of strategic about it mm-hmm. and you drip it out. You drip it out over, over time. You know, this is uh, business assets at this point, right? right? Yes. And um, definitely use it as such and don't flood it out because it's a one and done and you will have kind of like lost that that cool right. thing about it. But you also want, don't want to get too far from market because it, 
you know, you don't want to be in spring saying, this is me at fall market. At fall market. Yeah, I mean, no, when high- you're getting ready to go to spring market is not the time to be talking about. Yeah. So you want to be timely about it too. You want yeah. it to be relevant, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so we were talking about drip it out. So definitely blog posts. Dixie and I found yeah. a couple of vendors there um, that we are definitely going to go back. They stood out in our minds. We went even back to a couple and took more photos, mm-hmm. um, you know, took some little fun lifestyle, did some little boomerangs, did that stuff. And because <laughs> we were like, we definitely want to feature um, right. some of these vendors. And it's good for us. I mean, it gave us blog content. I was sort of yeah. out of blog content, to be honest. I was yeah. like, run it on empty. I don't know why on creating my own blog content. Sometimes you just need that, the creative boost of going and seeing all of the, all of the things and all of the people. I mean, it, you know, some of our designers in our community ask, what is the benefit of going, you know, should I go? It, though for those yeah. of you that have gone, should we plan it? Um, I think that's a definite yes. You know, mm-hmm. be, besides getting off your computers and making real life relationships, it can uh, re-energize you almost. Creativity, yes. creativity and, speaking. And exactly, because you. The other thing is you hear about some of the trends, but mm-hmm. to see them so beautifully done in these vignettes um, was totally different. Like I was like, oh, right. okay, I can see how that can be done. Mm-hmm. Or you hear about it, like let's let's even say like the burgundy and dark green velvets. You hear oh. about it and I, my, my brain kind of reckoned to like went back to <laughs> or whatever when that first came out right because right. I grew up in, in a house with full of those colors yeah. but to see it reimagined and reinterpreted in the new way was it the, the entrance of sun pan that had those gorgeous um velvet burgundy velvet chairs but yeah. so deep like it couldn't have gotten any like the deepest dark glass most red. saturated I mean, oh and the all they had but an olive way darker than this, even more of like a purple tone. Yeah, it was. Of course, yeah. the people on iTunes are like, "What? What are you? What is she talking about? about? Pointing to something on my dress, so that the YouTube YouTube people can see." Um, but yeah, if you think of a really dark glass of Rich. Cabernet or something oh, like yeah. that, but even darker purple, you know, beautiful. So, and the greens were the same; they were so saturated and mm-hmm. great. I mean, just Mm -hmm. beautiful. So that was, that was fun. Um, There will be a lot of photos of you at events. There will be a lot of photos of you with other designers. There will be a lot of photos of you with influencers and Mm -hmm. celebrities, right? Um, Those we think you should use as, you know, showing your behind the scenes that you are, you know, rubbing elbows with some of these industry influencers and say who they are and Mm -hmm. what you were doing, you know, absolutely. And, and if you happen to be in a showroom with that person, make sure you tag the showroom too. give the showroom that I mean, they put out so much food. Oh my gosh. Booze. You are fed from morning. Yeah till night yeah and the vendors you know they put on a show for you when you are out there I mean Mm -hmm. you don't spend a dang penny once you get there no it's a it's pretty incredible um so definitely tag your vendors give your vendors some love because they love to see it too you know um definitely give shout outs to your designer besties Mm -hmm. if you are have a picture with somebody tag them tag mm-hmm. them you know it will go on their feed and you know it just it's just I think it's just fun to do it just reinforces all of those connections that you've made and makes it it reinforces them and enriches them so that everything is going to be that much better the next time you go yes. I'm hoping I mean no, of course you went to and Vegas market and then came to this one so don't put out bad pictures. Just, you know, make sure that everybody looks good in their pictures. Everybody knows me and I will, I don't put out raw pictures. I edit all of my pictures and mm-hmm. nobody will ever go out. I saw some with my eyes closed. I saw some with my, you know, I was like, really? You put that yeah. picture out of me? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, come on. Um, 
take a couple, you know, Dixie learned this from me when, when you're having somebody tell, tell them to at least take three. So yeah. there's a one in three chance your eyes will be open. Right. Your smile will look good. Or you'll or just, just tap, 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 that little white dot that takes the picture. Yeah. Yeah. And while they're doing that, don't hold the same pose. And remember, remember, remember Joseph? I know he was, he was, was calling me. The, he was calling me the robot because uh-huh. I used to be a photo stylist. And when I, so what we would do is it, we had this weird thing because it was camera clicks, right? Mm-hmm. So we knew if we were shooting 35 millimeter, there were 36 shots. So there's something in me that it's still like, I, I can still see you tapping and I know it's a new frame and I will change my angle every time. But Joseph Heger from Design Wall was making fun of me and he was like, do the robot, do Rachel. Cause every time there's a new shot, I change, uh-huh. you know, change an angle and or something. You mm-hmm. never know. You don't know you're right. You know, everybody has a good side. Everybody has a bad side. Everybody has a good angle. Everybody has a bad bad angle. And you need to figure that out. It does make some fun little gifs too. Yes. When your phone starts stringing those together. And you're going through them really fast. Uh Yes. It's so fun. My phone will take like a series of photos and mash them into a little video for you. Oh. So much fun. It's like a boomerang or a gif, but better. But better. (laughs) <laughs> so definitely do that. Um, definitely position yourself as a style spotter. Just right. because you weren't a style spotter at high, high point, we're on the official style spotter. That is what we are doing. We are trend watching. Right. We are buyers. Um, you know, we're, we're taking it back to our clients so that they know. Exactly. Let them know that that's what we're doing. That's mm-hmm. why we are at market. That's why maybe even their project got put on hold because we had to go what were we doing we were out there we weren't you know just don't just post pictures of you partying all the time in fact don't really don't (laughs) you know what i mean i think that's good to do but sprinkle them in but um yeah i mean because it gets they get they get pretty wild those parties um (laughs) (laughs) they really do (laughs) <laughs> Sometimes you, you want less photographic evidence rather than right more. exactly mm-hmm. um so definitely do um style spotting definitely do trend reports trend posts you mm-hmm. can even take a picture let's say you were in um four hands and you took a picture of this chair and it had this blue leather so take your original contact picture and maybe make like a little mood board, maybe do yeah. a little cut out of blue leather, maybe do the wood finish and maybe do, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like make more of it than what it was like, almost like a mood board and maybe even put a fashion shot. Like where it right. did blue, did blue We've leather designers this? in our group that do a great job. Didn't you that. see a lot of blue leather? Yeah. So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I got to go look in the fashion side of things. Maybe blue leather showed up. We're going on the runways like Mm -hmm. where did that come from you know what I mean so maybe pull together like how are these things all playing together you know and and start doing that Mm -hmm. stuff um or even it I don't know about you but the multiple pictures that are similar from various showrooms yes yes you can do a post on like for me mine is the backs of chairs there are some stunning backs of chairs out there now which you know a lot of our clients are still pushing furniture to their walls, right? And now that we're always trying to put your area rug, anchor Uh it, float your pieces, we can show them why, you know, look, float your pieces and the, you know, the furniture manufacturers and designers are thinking about this, Mm -hmm. right? This chair is not only comfortable to sit in, but it's beautiful when you walk in the room. Every angle. You know, Mm-hmm. And talk about that stuff. Yeah. Do a blog post about it. Absolutely. You know? Or a, or a video. Or a video. Mm-hmm. You could yes. do a video talking about it. And what are you going to do with that video? You're going to put it everywhere. You're going to put it everywhere. If you have, if you did the Design Network Challenge with us mm-hmm. and you created a profile, that is a upload video to upload. Mm-hmm up to your TDN site and then tag because those vendors, since the design network carries over a thousand vendors, they probably carry that vendor. So you can go ahead and tag that video right in Mm -hmm. that profile. 
And with something, if, even if it's not exactly the same thing, it could be something similar. Yeah. Which, you know, it just, it, it just works even better that way. Yeah. It's like a get this look sort yeah. of thing. Shop this style. Yeah. That's what you could do too. Is shop mm-hmm. this style. You could even do like splurge and steal things. Hey, this I saw at this Christopher Guy showroom. Right. But, you know, you can get it at, you know, wherever and, you know, do a, if you want, you know, if you want the, to splurge on it, you want the mm-hmm. investment, do it here. But if you want something that looks like it, more practical or whatever, you know, right. and, and more affordable, then go to this vendor and get it mm-hmm. here. I mean, that would be a fun post to do. Yeah. Um, panels. If you attended any, you know, everybody, we had a panel. Hello, hello. Shout out. <laughs> Our first one at High Point um, with Kelly Ellis, not to drop any names, and Joseph Peeker. And Ravi Tiwari. Yeah, we had a fabulous panel. I know. And um, if you went to a panel, that's also considered um, continuing ed- education. Right. It definitely, I would show, you know, a picture of you attending that panel, the picture you took, maybe in the audience of the panel, and talk about on social media that you are learning. You know, we went to, uh, what was the last one we did? It was- um, it was all about the, the data trends. behind designs, mm-hmm. the data behind the designs, why, you know, what are the trends and why are the trends? Like what right. is happening in real, in culture, yeah. pop culture exactly. that, it you drives know, it. that drives mm-hmm. those, you know, so that actually, I'm definitely going to be doing that. And that was, I have to say, that was a fascinating, I'm so happy we went to that one. Fascinating converse. I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot. Yeah, I did too. I did too. So definitely um, show those. You could definitely take, you know, different snapshots and create a ripple video. Of course, mm-hmm. I'm going to say that because I love me some ripple. <laughs> you can, you know, throw it into Camtasia. You can put it yep. into iMovie. Again, you know, creating videos. Um, and, you know, videos are performing so well. Oh, yeah. I would just say if you could create a video, whatever format you could do it in. Mm-hmm. I actually... Um, downloaded a new um, app on my phone um, for video. What is it called? Video Leap. And it's really cool. You can add these cool filters and stuff. Mm. I haven't done it yet, but I was like, well, this is going to be a perfect opportunity to create new video content. So that is, I mean, that is all the things you can do with all of your content. Mm -hmm. From So to recap, blog posts, videos, Put it on Facebook, Instagram, um, behind the scenes, behind the, do tag your behind vendors, videos. Yep. Yep. Shout Upload out to your, your stuff to CDN. Yeah. Trend posts, style spotting. There's so much. <laughs> you should have content. Like I, I'm literally, I'm not a big planner, but I am going to go and do that brainstorming that right. we just did. I'm going to do that go through my camera roll and see which one. Because you can use that for the next month and then it's holiday time. Yeah. So people are thinking about completely different things then. Shopping guides and, you know, Mm -hmm. all that stuff. You could even take this stuff into 2018 too. Ooh, I like that too though. All of the stuff that you saw, do a shopping guide for. Oh. I did, I did this, this thing once where it was um, the top 10 things my house wanted for Christmas. Oh, that's such a good topic. It was fun because I just, I basically went, you know, window shopping for my house. Yes. Do that. I love that title. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is it. That's our aftermarket recap of how yeah. you can be visible um, with all What you the- can do with, and, and actually this one real quick little note here. This works for pretty much any of your in-person visibility that you do. You can take pictures or video or ideas and then use it later online so that you're not having to do massive amounts of extra work. Right. You're just doing one thing that has all of these different ways it can be used. You know, and if you didn't go to market, this is what I've done. This is my first time going to market, but mm-hmm. I have done everything that we're talking about i have done by searching the hashtag hpmkt2017 or false 2017 Mm -hmm. 
you can go on Instagram and see what people are posting and tagging because they're going to be tagging High Point Market up and, you know, give them credit. But you can take and you can even spot your own trends by yeah. what people are posting. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah. So you don't have to have gone to market to benefit from all the, all the things that people did. Mm -hmm. so. oh, that's, that's just kind of the perfect wrap up. It is. It is. So, so go, go and do the things. Go do all the things, all the, high, all the things <laughs> related to high point market. Go do it now. Do it right now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> chop, chop. This podcast was made possible in part through the support of our preferred partners, like the design network. The Design Network offers one of the most powerful to-the-trade e-commerce programs in the furniture industry, combining the top brands in furniture, the best prices, and unparalleled logistics all in one place. Go to www.thedesignnetwork.com to join the Design Network's Trade Direct program, create your designer profile, connect with new clients, and start shopping today.